So a lot of you have requested this and this is my Disney audition story. This is probably part one of two, but there might be more than two. When I decided to audition for Disney, I was in college in Maryland. I was actually going through quite a bit of depression. I had just been diagnosed with Lyme disease and I really hadn't been performing nearly as much as I wanted to. My family was very adamant that I didn't just do musical theater as a part of college. And that made me miserable. So one October Friday, I got in my car and drove from Maryland to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania by myself with MapQuest directions. Probably not the smartest choice, but I was 20 years old and fearless, so what are you gonna do? Apparently, the address listed was not actually the accurate address, so I had to do the old-fashioned duck into a convenience store or gas station, I think I went to a gas station, and ask for directions. I eventually got there and got parked and got signed in. Check out. This is my Disney audition story, part two. If you haven't seen part one, go ahead and check it out. When I got to the audition, they took our headshots and our resumes and we got signed in. Then they gave us numbers. I was lucky number 74. We went into the audition and they started by spreading us out all in lines. There were so many people in this audition, a couple hundred. There was a table of about four casting people, one of whom was the person actually teaching us the dance combination, and some of whom I actually still know to this day. First, they had us do an animation exercise. This is similar to pantomiming. Essentially, it's to see if you can do what costume characters do, which is act out things without words. For us, they had us make a giant sandwich and then animate our favorite Disney character. Had nothing to do with our height. Oh, and I forgot to mention, they did measure us as we came in. That's important. Then we learned the dance combination. When it was time to actually do the combination, we did the animation exercise into the dance combination. Part three, part this is my Disney audition story part three. If you haven't seen one and two, go ahead and check them out. After doing the animation exercise and the dance combination, they did make some cuts. Then they had us repeat the process all over again. Animation exercise, dance combination, cuts. Then they finally made one big round of cuts. Now that doesn't mean those people didn't get hired. A few of them did. But then they kept only six of us to stay for the entire audition. A few of us had to go in and do the entire dance combination by ourselves for the camera. This is how they look for specific mover roles. Mover roles are the dancers that are in most Disney parades that aren't equity. They then brought us back into the room, gave us all wig caps and had us stand up against a white wall. We put the wig caps on. They took a picture of us facing front and a picture of us to the side. They got really close to our face to see if we had good skin. This ended up being like my face callback, but not my fitting. That was later. If you want to hear about my fitting, leave a comment below.